in the meantime, David Smith has his hand up. Oh, okay. Can you come mm -hmm. off of mute, Dave? Hi, how are you? Fantastic. How are you, Dave? Fantastic and getting better. So awesome. um, the question I had was um, when I went to lunch with Lou in Las Vegas, I discussed my property that I have for sale and the, uh, it's a subject to property. And um, the mortgagee who's still on the mortgage, um, I've had the property for almost five years now. And he's concerned because now he sees it on his credit report and it's affecting his debt to income ratio. And, and uh, Lou and I went over it, but I was hoping that um, I can have a review on that because I, I wanna know, I wanna do right by the guy. Even though I have the property, it, it's mine. We've got all the agreements. Now he's like, oh, can you help me out because of the debt to income ratio? I'm having a hard time qualifying for loans for my kid, kids to go to college. So um, I want to do right. I want to figure out how to, how to um, put together a packet. And uh, I know Lou had, had uh, told me during lunch, and uh, I just want to make sure I had it all right. So what's your understanding? And then I can fill in any blanks. Okay, so... Um, I got to give him a copy of the payments, um, you know, all the payments that I made. And I think that, I think he told me the management agreement between my company and him. And all then right, possibly so let's stop there, let's stop there. Mm -hmm. A copy of the last 12 payments to prove that those payments have been made by someone else other than him over the last 12 months. Okay. And that could just be That's a printout from the bank account that I have that's paying it. Yes, that's number one. Now, what was the next thing? Um, to prove that he is no longer the owner, I guess, would be an important thing, um, like an Correct. affidavit of so trust. So you want to give a copy of the deed, the deed that he deeded out of the property into the trust name, number one, mm -hmm. and, or, and I guess that's number two, actually, on your list. Number three on your list would be the HUD-1 closing statement. And I think you told me that you had closed that somewhere with uh, an attorney, right? Yeah, and the, and the hang-up, I don't know if it's going to be too much of a hang-up, but I, I don't know how many times you got to tell somebody and, and they still make a mess up. I said, I need the, the original owner to deed it into a land trust, and then I'm going to take a beneficiary. And I, I, I believe I told you during lunch, he just moved, had, he just... Um, had had the property put into my land trust. I, I don't think there's a, it's deeded into a land trust, but it wasn't done before. It was all done at the same time. I don't well, know if anybody- Let's not worry can... about that part now. Let's, okay. um, let's worry about, was there a closing statement? Yeah, there's a HUD one. Um, okay, all right. Yeah, I have so that. I did it with an attorney, so. So those three things is what you want to focus on. We don't want to muddy the water. We don't want to add extraneous things that are going to, cause more questions. Uh, that's the three things that we need to focus on. And uh, that should satisfy his mortgage broker to show that that loan should not be considered part of his debt to income ratio because that loan is no longer his debt. It's being paid by someone else. Okay, great. And then the next thing was... Um... I got this house for sale now. <laughs> so let's get this MWR thing rolling. Uh, I can be one of the first people to put somebody in there, or I got to turn on the house monster and just find a whole bunch of people. So I'm, uh, I'm eager to get this thing going because uh, I have a mortgage payment due on it in about uh, 10 days. And um, Well, what marketing have you done, Dave, to uh, find someone for it? I haven't done anything yet because it was for sale as of four days ago on the MLS. I was just going to do a quick cash out because the market used to be good, but now it's not so good. And it fell in out of contract three times because I think I told you uh, each one of the buyers did bonehead mistakes. Well, two of them did. And one of them just had a bad thing happen to him. So uh, the, the agent has been on the market for 120 days. And he says, oh, listen, everybody saw it that wanted it, has seen it. And it doesn't look so good for you now. I said, okay. And I was like, after I came back from Las Vegas, I'm like, pull the sign. I got a different idea. So I haven't done any marketing yet, and I'm just trying to figure out what to do for marketing. Would well, definitely I usually... go to your house monster, section three of your house monster, focus on that. And now that you're a cap candidate, uh, have you been able to make progress on that uh, on your other three days of training? 
Uh, I've been reviewing uh, books one and two of the uh, whole enchilada. Uh, I did not go through the, um, I did the house monster books one and two so far. And then uh, I haven't done the uh, cap qualifying thing. I think, I think I got to do some sort of studying there. I think there's a four day course that's three. in the package. Three day, three course. day course, but I've had people do it in two days, but it takes a binge watch to do that. Um, and then there's testing after that, but here's my point. Once you get through that, you'll be able to access all the other marketing materials that are available to CAPS um, that are on your um, document library. Uh, so once you get certified, you'll have additional marketing materials. And the other thing I want you to consider is section eight of the House Monster, which is the auction section. So consider doing this coming Sunday uh, an auction open house uh, I and do. okay yeah go ahead go ahead i didn't mean to interrupt yeah hey. and that that would really really help uh to uh, stir the pot get people excited about what you're doing and uh, cause some behavior get some big fat down payments going the other thing i would do is contact all the real estate agents in that area uh in that zip code when you zip or when you google uh real estate agent and then the zip code after it on the browser and see what agents come up in that zip code i would contact every one of those agents and i would let them know that you have an auction open house coming and ask them let me ask you a question do you ever have folks that have less than perfect credit and they'd love to have an opportunity at home ownership and you have not been able to serve them? And so the answer is yes, of course. And so has every mortgage broker. So you wanna also uh, search for mortgage brokers in that same zip code and call them and say the same thing. It's a really short conversation, so it won't take a lot of your time, but hopefully what's going to happen is you're gonna find an agent that has uh, a customer, you know, they've got, customer or more than one customer. You know, it's a funny thing, Dave. Uh, at that MWR convention, <laughs> and Eric can back me up on this, at that <laughs> MWR convention, I got a guy, I swear to you, I got a guy, he's talking to me about subject two because I'd mentioned something about from the stage about our creative financing and what we do. And he says, yeah, I've got a house for sale. And we got into the details and it's, it's $880,000 house. You'll appreciate this. And he mm -hmm. says, well, I have this guy. And I don't know, it sounds like maybe one of your students. <laughs> but he says, I have this guy. And he's got, he's offering me $220,000 down. But I don't know about this thing about it moving into trust. Because he said the same thing. He said, moving it into trust. And then, uh, and it, he said, but I'm going to have to, he says it's a four and three quarter percent, or no, three three, three and a quarter percent loan. And, and, uh, he said, you know, it's a good loan and I don't know if he's going to pay it. I said, sir, he's going to pay it. I said, anybody that gives you $220,000, <laughs> I said, the only thing you would want to do is get on your knees and pray. They don't pay it. I said, what, what are you worried about? I said, I said, take the money, man, take the money and run. And I said, you can wrap that mortgage and uh, you could definitely move it into trust. You could wrap around and make the spread between your low interest and a bit higher interest rate. Uh, and so you got the benefit of the big down payment and low, low risk because of the big down payment. Plus, you got the opportunity to make some cash flow off of it as well. So hopefully he will do that. But <laughs> But it was it was a funny story. So I hope for you that you have somebody come along that has two hundred twenty thousand dollars, Dave. Oh, and would I love it? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have the keys in their hand quicker than they could finish the sign of the check. Like, come on, come on, come on, sign it. Here you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, God, that'd be great. That'd All be right, great. Cynthia. And there's two hundred twenty thousand reasons why to pay that mortgage too. Well, um, let's let's plan on it so so that you've got a good story for next week. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, Thanks, Lou. Dave, a little, a little hint. 
for bin, binge watching the affordable housing provider training. Yeah. Watch it at 150% speed. Fantastic, because that was my plan for the next two days. I'm like, okay, I've done this on YouTube many times to get through stuff. I'm like, 125, 150%. I'm like, I, I think I know what I'm doing for the next two days because I'll need the brochures and stuff like that so I can get this house moved properly. Um, but thank you. And another piece of advice, have the test sitting in front of you while you're watching it. <laughs> what? No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness hey, all the cheating oh, ways no, are coming that's... through Chris I can't, I can't believe it. you just sailed us down the river I can't believe it either <laughs> <laughs> that is cheating oh my goodness I'm, I'm just well no, really Lou when you come right down to it it is an open book test <laughs> <laughs> yeah but they should at least go through the whole thing and then do the questions <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lou, Lou, you, you don't it. catch yeah, them all yeah. when you're going through it so <laughs> well that's by design so you think you have to think and do some research and good stuff like that 